I love to run around in the circles, I can run around all day long, and I never get tired. Anyways, hey guys, it's Demon, welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we almost defeated, or completed, the Dreadnought Galaxy. This episode, we're going to be getting the Superstar and the final star of the Dreadnought Galaxy, so let's go. So, yeah. Also, this secret star, as I said in the last episode, is a big pain. So anyways... The Secret Star is in the third mission, Revenge of the Top Man Tribe. So the Secret Star is actually pretty close to where the main thing was, like I showed in the last episode. It is this pipe here. And in this pipe, when you go down here, it's the trash blowing up mission. Here. You know how hard it is keeping your dreadnought clean? And then someone comes and drops a load of trash in the ammo depot? Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. Gee, thanks. Okay! So how do you like my robot voice? It probably changes every time I do this. So, yes, we have this mission yet again. Just, again, try to aim for the little orange spots here. And also, remember, the bombs take 10 seconds to blow up. So, just remember that and you should be perfectly fine and that... Probably didn't work out so good, so... Yep. And, come on. Oh god, gotta get this. Come on. We might actually get this. We might actually get this first try if we're lucky. Oh my god! Wow, I've never... Okay, I'm not gonna read that. I can't believe I got that on my first try. Oh my god. And it took me the first... The first one took so many dang tries, and that one I got that... Fast? What the... Star? Okay... I just- the first one, it took me three tries, and that one I get on my first try. Everyone has trouble with that mission. I don't know why, so 95 stars. Awesome. I now thinking of it, I could have fit that in the last episode. And would have been done with the Dreadnought Galaxy. So, I'm very excited that that took so little time. So, let's start the hardest galaxy in the game, the Melty Molten Galaxy. Let's go. Like I said, this is supposed to be the hardest galaxy in the game. And actually, this is the final main galaxy of this game. Very exciting, I know. The Sinking Lava Spire. So, I am just like so hyped up. I just, whenever I do something that I get really excited about, I just get so hyped up. I don't know why. And now, now this is going to make my commentary amazing. And uh, I need to stop thinking about all my commentary because then they'll think I'm a greedy bastard saying, oh, I just want people to get me for my commentary. You know what I mean? <laughs> Actually, my friend over YouTube, uh, same one I mentioned last episode, I, well, I didn't mention it, but uh, I, it's just, what the heck? That guy was like frozen in time. Okay. So, yep, this is the Melty Molten Galaxy. A galaxy of cosmic portions and burning in your ass. Brought to you by Nintendo. So, yeah. So, what I was about to say about that, uh, my friend said, like, he would quit LPing if he didn't get into, if he didn't get 30 subscribers. And he was like, he said right after he said, I mean, he said, told me right after he said that, he was like, wow, that doesn't that sound greedy. Like, seriously. <laughs> I was like, that kind of sounds like a greedy bastard right there for subs, but whatever. So yeah, this mission is somewhat hard, I guess you can say that. I mean, it's not like uh, extremely hard, it's just, uh, you just gotta be able to... I mean, you just have to have good platforming and then it's really not all that hard, like I said. And also, if you want to get a whole bunch of star bits, you can uh, come down here and... Uh, like I said, come down here, sma no, smash this in, and collect all these star bits here. This is, will be good because for the comet of this area, because you need to get 80 star bits. But, but you have to worry because uh, there will, I mean, not the comet, but the secret star. Because that, uh, well, you might want to worry for that thing right there because the lava will come up. And, you know, I'm going to actually start by doing the secret star. Hey, Yuri, I can chase the star bits. Feed a bunch of star bits up a snack and to transform. Famous, I need 80 star bits. Cure my hunger pangs. Okay. So, yep, we have 99 star bits. I just want to feed this guy here and do this mission because I got the 80 star bits. I don't feel like collecting them again. So, that's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. 
the last hungry luma in a galaxy. Yep, because that's why it needed 80 star bits. That's not the most. The most is 100, which is in the good egg galaxy. But that's the most in the later game. Because you have to actually collect 80 to get here. And now this mission act over here is actually somewhat hard. I don't know. It's just a silver star collecting mission with this lava thing. They'll go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What the heck? I'm like going crazy here. Oh god. Whoa, you also want to watch out and don't get your belt burned by these things. It's got to be careful and find your way to the places here and collect some coins so I don't die. Like I said, you've got to be very careful and hopefully if you jump in the right time, these guys will just blow up into each other. So, yeah. Now, like I said, you just want to be very careful and get these things here. Oh god. Try to stay on this area here so you don't get burned by this thing when it goes around. It's actually a pretty cheap idea of doing this, but it works nonetheless. So that's not the way you're supposed to get over to this area, but okay, where is the last silver star? I'm not so sure where the last silver star is. I'm just going to go this way because I think it might be over this way. Whoa, God. No, that we already went here. I know it's oh, over there it is because I remember there's flares by it. I mean, little flares, little flares, I think they're called. Something like that. So, okay, let's see if we can get over here. Oh, it's this area again. Just gotta be careful again. Just jump over here and just... I think you might actually be able to spin them away. Um, oh, God. Okay, get out. Get over here, over here, over here. I'm just going in a huge circle. I just realized that. I'm going in a huge... There it is, there it is, there it is. I see it. It's way down there. I mean, it's not way down... No, get off, get off. Thank you. Okay, there it is. There's that thing. That's better. Now we have all five silver stars and create a star like usual. And I don't know, is that the last uh, silver star collecting mission? I'm not so sure. So, like I said, that's uh, pretty easy. Just uh, getting a little concerned because I don't want these got little flares to hit me. Oh god. So, uh, now to get to the star, it stars right here. It's in the middle of the lava pit right there. So, anyways, we got a secret star. Awesome. Well, seven minutes into the video, we. Yeah, we're, we're only doing three stars in this episode because I don't think we'll be able to fit anymore. So, okay, we got the secret star out of the way for the Melty Molten Galaxy. Not the star I was planning to get, but 96 stars. Four more stars until the Great 100, and then after the 100, we only have 20 more stars to get. Switch. 14 of them are a uh, purple comet, so that really doesn't matter. I'm just so happy that we're almost done with this game. So anyways, let's get the main star, and I missed saying let's go because I pressed go. And let me check something. Okay, it's not, like, overheating. So, anyways, I kind of like it because it shows, like, up and down, like, here. So, anyways, now let's do the sinking lava spire for reals this time. Yeah, for reals. So, yep, skip that because you already saw it. And I don't know why I'm, like I said, I don't know why I'm collecting star bits. I don't need any more star bits in the game. Even though I didn't get the Hungry Loom on what? I'm, what? Is that Hungry Loom on the Garden Dome unlocked? I forgot if I unlocked it. I don't think I have because I don't see it, but, I mean... I don't know how many star- I mean, I don't know what mission you have to beat to unlock it. Who knows? So I'm probably gonna end up speedrunning this right here, because I'm pretty good at uh, speedrunning these missions. But uh, the comet, it, I'm not gonna say what it is. It's just- the comet's- let's just say it's a pain. Let's just say it's like, pain in your mom's ass. I don't know. I just friend said that for no reason. So, now we actually don't have to worry about collecting star bits, because we already got the 80 star bits that we needed to pay off that Hungry Luma right there. I mean, not right there, but, uh, well, it's not there anymore, because there's, uh, that little pink launch star there that shows that we already got that. So, yep, now, it's gotta be, whoa, I didn't mean to grab that, but, co here you wanna be careful, because there's gonna be these little lava trail things here. It's, like I said, you wanna be careful to get through these things. It's not that hard, but also you might want to get this little health extension right here. That health extension's not in the comet, because uh, I'm not going to tell you what the comet is. You probably already guessed what the comet is if you already... I mean, you might already know what it is if you already played this game. And Okay, there's a pointless thing here that might be for loading time, but it's got to be very fast. you got to shake the shake to get into the launch star. And Well, I was wondering where those star bits can't, where it come, gonna, yeah, can't talk today. We're going to come in. But then again, whenever I record, I can't talk, so... Yes, this planet right here, like this thing right here, you see it? You see this planet right here? This is going to be like the silver, I mean not silver star, the the starship collecting. You're going to have to like 
be on this planet so many times. Like, I think there's twice you have to do star... Why did I, did I say star bit collecting? I mean, star chip collecting. I don't know why I said star bit. So, yep. And you might want to be a little bit more careful on a different mission here. But, uh, anyways, we're on the last part of this mission right here. And I don't know how Mario's not burning up in any parts of this mission. Because if you're this close to lava, you're going to be burned. At least, I, at least that's what I heard from other people. I'm just going to say that. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to give something that a uh, different LP -er said. Uh, I'm just going to say Nikki 917 because he's one of my... I wouldn't... Well, maybe a little bit of friends over YouTube, but, like... He said that in, in his Super Mario 64 LP that, uh... He once, uh, had a... There was a magazine that... I mean, a, like, I think it was, like, like, a kid's science magazine or something that said, like... Is it, like, is it true, or can you jump, can you bounce out of lava like Mario can in Super Mario 64? I can't believe an actual science magazine would say that. Uh, well, uh, maybe a kid's one, but I can't believe they actually said that. And, they, and, and the answer was no, you'll just sink and die. <laughs> I mean, you won't sink, but you'll die. I know that, so. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, you're gonna want to be rushing. And don't worry, the lava will speed up after you, uh, go up onto that one area, so... Yeah, it's, uh, this mission isn't all that hard. Then again, I say all missions aren't that hard because I've played this game so many times and I'm so used to these missions, so that's why I say they're not hard. So, uh, yeah, here's the star. You could wait maybe for the lava to go up, but anyways, we got the star. Also, all the mission, all the stars in this game, I mean, in this galaxy are hard, so, I mean, hard and long. That sounded wrong. Star. Said that late. So, uh, yep. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to keep going, or if I want to, uh, you know, I'll just keep going and do another star. Get another star out of the way of the multi molten galaxy. Oh, finally the Hungry Luma appeared. I was waiting, wondering when that Hungry Luma was going to appear. So it either appears when you get 97 stars, or you do that mission in the in this Melty Molten Galaxy. So anyways, let's do the second mission in the Melty Molten Galaxy. Then we're gonna quit for this episode. Not quit, but we're gonna be done. I mean, not that bad, but I can't talk. So anyways, through the meteor storm. Yeah, because I don't want to continue after this because we'll be kind of far in the episode and also the Mish Comet will come up and you know in Galaxy you can't skip comets. I mean, you can do another star and you can get it, it'll go away, but... <clears throat> but I'm going for 100%, all 121 stars. Yes, there's 121 stars. I'll show you how to get the 121st star after I get all 120 stars and show you me beating the final boss, which, as you know, is Bowser. Like, all final bosses in every Mario game, it's Bowser. So anyways, how about I explain a little bit about this mission right here? So, basically, there's going to be these falling, me falling meteors around here. And come on, little Slayer, get over here. Come on, guy. Come on. Come on. It's not that hard to go over a ledge. Thank you. How hard is it to go over a ledge? Seriously. So, come on. There you go. Good flare. You're good flare. Good flare. Good flaming flare. Yeah. I actually kind of like it, because that kind of picks uh, the LP or flaming flares perfectly. It's a flaming flare. Even though all flares are flaming. That really doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, get in here. I thought I was going to get crushed for a second. Well, 15 lives. Are you kidding me? That's like... That's like a whole bunch of lives right there. Yeah. Also, I've tried doing like a... Oh my god, that's actually one of the only times I've ever uh, gone through that part without getting hit. I've tried doing a... Pretending to go through this like a daredevil mission and it never works. I always eventually get hit in this mission, but whatever. I don't know. But I'm, pro I'm not going for it now, but it's very hard to do if you try to go for it. If there's a Daredevil mission in this mission, then it would be, like, almost impossible to get. Because this mission is ha very hard to not get hit in. I'm serious. It is, like, extremely hard to not get hit. Yes, and that's coming from, an like, a experienced player in Galaxy. So, whoa, God! Holy crap, that was close. So, uh... Okay, you want the last star chip to be this one, because the launch star will appear here, and you're going to be very close to the launch star anyway, so that's why I say you want this one to be the last one. And, uh, whoa. If you think you were, if you were just, like, a few centimeters off, you would have gotten hit by those things. 
Now this is where it gets like annoying. This one is what made me think I'd never be able to 100% galaxy. Because this star. Because I never was able to do this correctly. You have to take a bullet bill and you have to uh, get the bullet bill to follow you and hit the thing. And I, how I did I how I did not get hit by that, I'm kind of find that weird how I didn't get hit by that. And also, if they hit the little flares, they're going to die. So that's uh, another thing you have to watch out for. So just try to... Uh, Get the th get the bullet bill through these without that didn't take that long. Okay, did I not get hit through any of this part? I'm I'm wondering if I haven't gotten hit yet. I don't know. I'll check back because if I didn't get hit, then I might actually pull off the daredevil run of this. I don't know. Who knows? So okay, just want to be careful here. It's another uh, rolling ball mission, and I'm pretty sure you won't get hit by the meteor. I mean, you won't get hurt by the meteors if they hit you. You'll they'll just like uh kind of, I mean, they won't, I mean, they won't, they, I mean, they can hit you, they'll just, uh, it won't cause any damage, they'll just, uh, make you go flying backwards, not flying, but they'll just push you backwards, that's what I'm trying to say, so here is what you want to be a little bit careful on, oh god, okay, so, yeah, uh, nothing to really talk about, because I'm really trying to concentrate on this, and, okay, I think I haven't gotten hit through this, so this might be the time I might actually successfully get this daredevil run, I'm not sure if I've gotten hit, if I've gotten hit, oh my god, if I did not get hit, that's the first time I've ever pulled off a daredevil run of this mission. I'm not so sure, because I didn't see my life thing. I'll put, uh, not annotation, I'll put a note if I actually was succeeded. So anyways, we got a star, but we didn't get a star yet. Now we got a star. So anyways, that's about it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Yay, a four-star episode. Huh, I wish it was five, but whatever. Because, whatever. Anyways, so 98 stars now, so yeah, and we have 4,000 star bits and we, I pressed jump so it's like all weird like there looking like that, so yep, in the next episode we are going to get the third star in the Melty Molten Galaxy, because I, I thought the comet was going to be there, so anyways this has been Demon, Demon Razorblade, thanks, see you later and goodbye, see ya later.